So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to change your theme settings in Apparition Net Studio. So as you can see, we're currently using the default theme, which is called Visual Studio 2013 Dark. Now you can change this theme to a variety of different options by heading into the settings and going to your theme and then you can apply all of these different themes. Now, depending on your computer, you might not have all of these themes. You might only have a few of these themes, um, but you'll still have a few different ones that you can select. Now, bear in mind this application, as you can see here, there's a warning that says it's not been designed, like we coded this application using Visual Studio 2013 Dark as the theme. So if you apply different themes, some themes can cause issues where text will be harder to read, or some buttons might be slightly cut off. Stuff like that can happen if you change the theme. Um, but most of the themes generally seem to be pretty decent and, and everything's pretty readable. So if we head to say Office 2013 Dark, let's go ahead and apply theme, dark gray. So there you go, you can see that this has changed. And if we go ahead and open up a mod tool, you'll see that uh, the mod tool has changed to that theme. If we go to client modifications, you can see that's all changed. And then if we head back into the settings, let's apply a different theme. Let's try Dev Express Dark. This one I quite like. This one looks okay. And if we have a look at the tool, you can see all of that's changed. And everything's still pretty readable. Looks just fine. So if you're not happy with the default theme, you can change it. Uh, what's another good one? I think there's an Office one that looks okay. That I quite like as well. There we go. Office 2010 Black is another one. So you can see that. Let's change there. So yeah, you can change your theme. Um, and if you want to save the theme, if we went ahead and just closed the tool now and reopened it, it would go back to the normal theme. If you want to actually save a theme, so let's select this theme, and we want to actually save it as our default theme, you just click Apply Theme and Save. And then now that that's done, the next time I open the tool, which I'll go ahead and do just now. So next time you open the tool, it will now have that theme set as default. So it will open with that theme that you selected. Whereas if you just click the apply theme button, it will only apply the theme for that session. So when you close and reopen, it will go back to normal. But as you can see, because I applied and saved, it's gone back to uh, my theme that I actually saved instead of the default one. So this is now my default theme. And if I want to change it back, just bear in mind that the default theme, the one that um, ApparitionNet uses by default is Visual Studio 2013 Dark. So we can apply theme and change. As you can see there, it's cut off the buttons a little bit, but if you just close and reopen, that'll go back to normal. So yeah, that is basically it. That is how you change your theme in ApparitionNet Studio.